This tutorial is made for finance managers and controllers of small and medium-sized organizations. I'm going to be covering the design in part one of this video. Let's take a look at a sample budget template that I've created. Section one is your headcount. I'm going to come back to this section later to explain more in detail. So let's move on to section two, which is expense line items. I purposely made it Spartan. There are few breaks in the lines and formatting was kept to a minimum. This was done so that I can easily import and export data. I'll show you what I mean. The 2009 actual in the grayed out box is actually being pulled from a separate tab called actual. People who are good at Excel formatting are often tempted to massage the raw data by adding blank spaces, lines, and color bar. Please don't. I have a simple design philosophy that can't be uttered in the presence of polite company. It goes, don't eat from the same bowl that you blank blank. You get the picture. Data dump is informative, but not very presentable. Unfortunately, in most cases, you're going to be constantly updating your actuals as budgeting is an ongoing process. So you should be able to update the actual, but preserve the budgeting template for presentation purposes at the same time. The master template should have every GL that is being used. The marketing department may not use every expense account, but there are some other departments which may. So uniformity in template design will make consolidation process at a later time a lot easier. You can always hide the lines that you don't need, but adding them later on will misalign the templates. Now let's go on to section three, which is key driver. Personnel benefit will be predominantly driven by salary and headcounts. Since personnel cost is a major expense in the marketing department, a section was created to ensure a greater degree of accuracy and forecasting. Let's go into section four, which is the detail of salary information. If you're building a detailed budget, which includes salary data, it's best to put them down below. Since the number of employees could vary from department to department, Putting the personnel at the top will lead to a guessing game. 